They need to figure out, do they love to dance? Do they love to compete? And do they love to win? Do they want this to be a career? Because if you don't, move aside. I'm going to be using a boy in the group. Mackenzie, if you're not in the group dance, that means you're getting a solo. Maddie, I want to see if you can win again. And the duet will be Kendall and Nia. This week, Nia and Kendall have a duet. And all I can think is, you know, look out, Holly, because Jill's coming. She wants Kendall to shine and be special in the duet. This private that Kendall is having with Gia is about Kendall's personal growth. If Kendall can get a little extra help to be the best she can be, I'll take it. There's Jill. I found her. What's she doing? Uh, having a private with Kendall. For what? what? To make sure that she's the superstar of the duet. Oh, you're kidding me. Now, why would Nia be in there? Isn't this, isn't a duet two, two people? people? Come on, Holly, okay. I'll go. I have to say, I was a little surprised to see that Kendall was in the private. For why? Why? Well, I think it's a duet. It is a way for her to stand out more than Nia. Jill is the definition of a stage mom. You know, instead of putting Kendall's photo on that pyramid, I think Jill would be better off with her headshot. Can I have my guest boy, please? Oh Hello, yeah. how are you? It's good to see you. Yeah. We've got to bring Nick in, one of my male dancers at my studio. He dances with my teen company. He's excellent and a really nice kid. So when the opportunity comes along for me to utilize one of my other students in the show, I'm thrilled. And it's great for the girls to get to work with a boy and do partner work. That looks good on your resume. Have pressure on the inside of me! Inside, Brooke! I'm still waiting for Brooke to act like she's 14. When are we gonna see you stand out as the leader, as the foreman on the job, as the role model? She should be the role model, the leader, the one in charge, and she's just not. I'm a little nervous to be back in New Jersey. These kids in New Jersey are four. I know it's Bernardsville, but Bernardsville is this far from New York City. Oh, honey, you're getting sick. It's in your chest. Hey, Maddie, come here. Do you know the duet? Because Nia is really sick. Yes, but I don't know like all of her parts. Try to get Kendall to go over it with you. OK. Listen, if you don't feel good and you don't feel like you want to do it, we'll do it another time. I'm doing it. Tell Abby, not me. Tell Miss Abby. <laughs> we'll do it another time, right? Right. But okay. I, I'm, I'm going to do it. OK, good. Good. I know Nia's not feeling well. But I also know that she cannot use her illness as a reason why she didn't do well. Come on, Kay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? Now I'm going to the restroom. Holly, can you go find out where Jill is? I'll find her in the bathroom. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I guess you didn't expect to see me out here, <laughs> huh? You want Nia to come out here to join you? I would love her to. I'm disappointed. I just talked to Jill yesterday about having privates with teachers. I just don't understand why she does this. You should have been in there and said, Holly, guess what? Yeah, Gia's out here. We were just saying, where's Gia? Where's Gia? She should be working with the girls. We need our help. She should be working with the girls. Girls. And she was. Girls. Right. Plural. Holly, it's not a private because I'm not paying for it. I didn't schedule it. This is the job of a dance instructor. All right, we're going to skip ahead just a little bit in your program to entry number 12. This is in the mini solo division. This is Mackenzie with Love is War. She was 
Oh my gosh, it was, she was just great. We have entry number 27. This is Maddie with Lifeline. this whole thing sewed up. All right, and next in the junior small group division, this is entry number 43 with Your Dream Will Be My Dream. I know that you can see it through the clouds and through the shadows. It shimmers alive the sea told me that they love the number, that the kids were so pretty. The crowd seems to be with them, but I have a different opinion. Nia, how are you feeling? Good. Really? All right. Deep breaths. This is entry number 36. This is Nia and Kendall with Dig It. of them, and nothing went wrong. I really hope Abby can be pleased with this performance. Wow, yeah, see, Jill, good. all that extra help paid off. It sure did. I, yeah. I thought they looked great. But you know what, Holly? I thought Mia was fabulous in the duet, and yeah. you didn't even need all the extra help. Doing this stuff behind each other's back, I don't feel like we're being a team. I didn't do anything behind your back. I did it right in front of you, and I did it to benefit my child. At least you're honest. I'd rather somebody say, you know what, I'm going to do everything I can than say, I'm not going to do it, and then sneak around and do it. So, whatever. Starting out with our elite mini solo division, second place with a score of 284.6 points. Entry number 12, Love is War. Mackenzie gets second place. I'm proud of her. 
There was a lot of competition in her division. Moving into the junior solo division, second place with a score of 291 points. This is injury number 27, Lifeline. It's like somebody popped my balloon. She is the one kid that I can count on winning. That just goes to prove you don't put all your eggs in one basket. Now moving into our elite junior duet trio division. In fifth place, entry number 36, Dig It. For a number to be good enough to win, there are certain elements that you need in the number. And this duet wasn't really choreographed to be a winning number. All right, now we're going to go back to our elite junior small groups division. Second place with a score of 279.2 points. Entry number 43, your dream will be my dream. I'll tell you what, I loved this number. And I love this dance competition. But I don't love the fact that they were second. That's the biggest loser on the stage. Oh, I felt so bad for the group. I mean, I... Hi. You guys look happy for getting second. Hey, it's OK. Good job. I'm proud of you guys. I thought you guys were amazing. We can hope for better next time, right? Oh. Well, well, well. They were beautiful. Ladies, I think some of you need a break. Kendall, did your private with Gianna help in the duet? I think you two have a big hole to dig yourselves out of. Maddie, what happened? You were on top of the pyramid. I threw you the lifeline. You let it slip right out of your hands. You were that close. And Mackenzie, I firmly believe, like Maddie, you need to get knocked down a peg. Because that's going to make you work harder. And this was a love story. And the one lesson I thought all of you would take home was that you love to dance. They need to figure out, do they love to dance? Do they love to compete? And do they love to win? Do they want this to be a career? Because if you don't, move aside. You know what, ladies? I don't want to be nasty, but it's tough love sometimes. I love you kids. I do. I love all my students. But I don't love what happened out there today. <laughs>